morning everybody here today everyone turned up at the same time me ben and em how are you em <laughs> oh you're balancing like a, a flamingo there is it a flamingo balancing on one leg i don't know anyway very elegant em very elegant we have a busy day of bale karting ahead of us today um and I've also got to go and spray off the rape. So I'm going to spray it off with Roundup and put a pod stick on it, basically, like a glue um, onto the pods of rape to stop them from like falling out, the, the seeds falling out in the rain. Oh, it's too early. It was too late last night. It's too early this morning. Um, so yeah, let's crack so on. My brother's jumped on the straw blower, taking Andy's job. Andy's off today. And I'm guessing M's letting him in. My dad's about somewhere, I'm not sure. Quite where on the TM. But I'm gonna jump on the sprayer and we'll get this uh, get this rape sprayed off so we can get it combined in a couple of weeks. Right, I'm off. And it's early and it's already extremely warm. Um I don't think it's too warm in that I can still go spraying. Although I'm I am desiccating the crop anyway, I suppose. But you don't, you don't want it to like burn it off straight away. It does actually have to work a little bit, I think. Although I'm no expert, did suggest to my dad getting a contractor in to do this. Because I know there'll be a lot of people horrified that I'm uh, driving through the rape to spray it off in a tractor with no um, real crops on or anything. A bit of a bad patch here, it got a bit wet here. Um, but it's what we've got, um, and yeah, that's what he wants to do, so that's what we're doing. This tractor's not so great at this, it's because it's a lot lower than like a self build sprayer would be. Um, my tyres are wider than real crops, and so when so it pushes the crop under the tractor, and the little pods that are, uh, that are on the, the rate planting, which has the seeds in that we're trying to harvest, um, quite easily broken um, at this at this stage. Um, that's the reason why we're spraying not only Roundup, but pod stick, so um, a glue basically, to try and hold the pods together. Um, and I can hear, as I'm coming through this rape, I can hear the, the seeds hitting the, the tractor, which is, money down the drain basically but um, yeah my dad my dad wants to do it this way would it will we be losing as much as what it would cost us to our contractor in I don't know I, I don't know the maths on it but um, I'm just gonna take his judgment so these here are the pods that we're spraying off inside them see those little black seeds see how easy that was to open so that's the reason we sprayed the glue on and that's the reason why I'd rather not be driving through it but the reason we have to kill it off is it's very green so these pods that are close to the bottom like these ones are nowhere near as ripe as the others so we need it all to be ripe at the same time so that's why farmers either <clears throat> spray it off like this with Roundup, um, like Roundup you can buy in the store, or um, they go through with a swather, but that's not um, as favoured now. This stuff gets pressed into uh, rapeseed oil, which you can use instead of like sunflower oil and stuff like that, but it's also used in diesels, biofuels, um, yeah. I think you can actually uh, make some feed out of it as well, but we, we've never gone down that route. This used to be used quite a lot. Uh, my uncle, not my uncle, but my dad's uncle, used to have uh, his rape swathed uh, up until uh, probably about five years ago. Um, it's sort of it's a machine that goes along. Quite interesting machine actually. Just search on YouTube for a, a rape swather. Uh, they've got like tractor wheels at the front, big tractor wheels at the front, but then at the back it's like shopping trolley wheels. Um, and so they can spin round on the end real quick. Um, so yeah, quite an interesting machine. And then they leave it in a swath, so they cut it and then put it in a line behind it, and then you come along with a combine and just combine the line. Um, 
but yeah, so with the cheap spray that is Roundup um, and it's doing such a good job, uh, sort of, I think they sort of fell out of favour a little bit. And now I guess the only way, well, some people will still use them, but if, uh, if you're doing organic oil seed rape, then maybe you would have to use a swaffer. It wouldn't want to be much taller, this crop, or uh, I'd, um, I'd be struggling to get to it. As you can see, I made a bit of a mess last time, pushing it, they push it all down here, in the tram line already. So maybe the damage was done, I don't know. But that's what I've got to think, anyway. Just filling the baler up. Uh, as you can see, my dad bunged the baler up as well last night and did a shear bolt, so... Um, yeah, great. We'll have that to fix. Ralph's here! Yeah. Ralph in his sexy red car. Have you come to do my hair? <laughs> Oh, Ben says, is he an hairdresser? While my sprayer is just washing out now, um, I'm going to wash it out twice just to make sure that, that Roundup and that glue is completely gone. I'm going to check the filters in this um, JCB. Somebody, somebody mentioned on TikTok about the cab filters. And I, and I, yeah, it sounds a really good idea. That might be why the air con is the Looking for the uh, inside the cab cab filter on the JCB. Didn't really have time while this was filling. Um, to investigate much further, but I'll do that in a second. What I'm going to do now is drop this sprayer off and then I can put it on the mixer and we can actually get something done while those guys are bringing in the first few loads. Okay, so I was looking and looking around in here trying to find this filter. Let's see a look. Really well hidden. So I'll get that panel off and uh, we'll see how clogged yeah, up the I'd filter say it's is. fairly mucky, so I think we'll blow, blow that out. And then there's also another one in there that will blow out and hopefully we'll have ice cold air con this one here is a very mucky right we'll get that cleaned out the blower in here is like blowing me away now um is it colder yeah i'd say it is colder actually we are in the shadows uh we'll find out a bit later today if it's worked or not when i get in there sunshine right now right, time to jump on the tm and we'll get a mix done uh, I could do it on 9 meter, but it's got bale spikes on it, it means taking pipes off it. And this one's got a lot cooler aircon, definitely 100%. Ben and Ralph are fetching the uh, first load of the day in. The mixer on, got the burgers ready in the back of the car. Am I allowed to sit on this mummy in my mucky trousers? We've got a twister. across the yard, whipped it up. Mini tornado. Just got on top of drive now. I mentioned my strap winder yesterday and then never actually showed you. A few people commented, so I guess I better uh, show the beast. Here it is. So it's just very, very simple. Frisbee um, on a drill, two prongs. So you stick your strap in between the prongs and it just whizzes it up. Um, it's going to be quite difficult for me to do uh, one-handed, but I'll we'll give it a go. It. Just wraps it up, but yeah, normally I've got it two-handed and I can... Yeah, okay. I need to get Emma or somebody filming me doing this. I'll show you how it works then. <laughs> Wait for another showed day. everyone, but uh, we put the hay outside for the time being. Uh, one, just to check that it doesn't warm up. And... Um, too because I don't want it in the back of the shed uh, if I'm going to stack it in the in the big shed that, that was on fire I don't want it to be right at the back of it could do with it being towards the front really so if it if it decides to rain then I'll have to start putting it inside but yeah so let's get these these ready for another mix anyway I'm gonna put Ralph under some pressure here it's back in the dolly up Don't know where I'm going. Going on a road to nowhere. <laughs> where are you going, Ralph? I think he's heading back here out roundabout. 
while it's dark. He says, oh, yeah, yeah, I used to, used to drive these at Foskets all the time. <laughs> it gets this hot, we reach for the cans and we reach for the hat weapon. Um, I used to wear this at all time, like brilliant, like keep sun off you. Um, when it rains, you don't get rain on you. Oh, it's fantastic. So yeah, I'm gonna try it out again. Not Joe Seals branded though. So that's a bit of a disappointment. Right, so I've got my great arm still. Um, I have just dropped the mixer off. I put the turner on because we've got some grass still to turn. I've also got some grass to rake up. Um, but when my dad gets back from looking at um, some of the cows at grass, uh, we've had a phone call from somebody who watches over him to say that one of them's a bit lame, so he's stuck an injection up there um, just in case it's something that needs injecting or just have a check on it basically and make sure it's all right. Um, and then when he gets back, he's going to come and jump on this and do some turning for us, which is good. And then after we've done the straw, then we can bale the grass and oh, it's going to be all go, go, go from now on until autumn. <laughs> all the time when loads are coming in, I'm emptying them off, filling this barn up. We did one beer yesterday, <coughs> so I wonder if we can do to uh, to this girder here today, by the end of this, uh, tonight or this evening. I'm not sure if we will, maybe not do quite as many bales as yesterday, um, but It'd be nice if we could get to there. Am I stuck in the yard here? In the JCB that's got average to poor air conditioning, but the guys in the field have just rung me and said, oh, Tom Morell's just fetched us all over an ice cream. Where's my Tom? <laughs> oh. Anyway, I keep sweltering. So it's all happening now. We've got uh, Ralph just taking that load of bales down there. Joe's come back in with the baler. Uh, we're having a few little issues with the baler in that it's throwing out some funny shaped bales. Got the baler on. We have to have the PTO on to release the pressure. So that's the pickup wheel there. It feeds the straw inside the baler. Then gets into this section, you've got these pushing the straw, and then these fingers here, when this section gets full, there's a little uh, pressure sensor under there, <clears throat> that pushes the bar, trips the arm, these come down, scoop the straw up into this section here, which is the plunger. And there's a big, big plunger just bang, smacking into the, the bale all the time, pushing it along until eventually it comes out of the end, right there. I'm messing about there, trying to get the bale out of the back of the bale, but um, some kind of electronic thing wouldn't allow us to uh, put the fingers in and pull it out nice and easy. So it's gonna be a big job to do it. Um, and anyway, yeah, so I've just challed that one off. That can be another day, that's another day. Um, my dad's now gone to the field to start fetching some bales in, take M off that job. Em's going to come back here, hopefully give uh, me a hand feeding up. Um, my dad was originally going to get on that, wasn't he? Um, but I think he's decided not want to do that job. So I'm going to have to drop that off and probably put the mix back on. But anyway, that's how things go. Things always changing in farming. One hour to the next. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to crack on with this feeding up and then wait for him to get back so she can let me in the pen. Just to get all the feeding up done, um, thankfully my mum came out and gave me a hand to open the gates because Em's going to be another hour or so until she gets back in the yard. So, um, yeah, I think I might end the video now and me and Em might do a live a little bit later. So, if you're not subscribed, you'll not find out about that. So maybe subscribe and press that like button if you've got this far and uh, and you've liked the video. And um, yeah, apologies for wearing this hat, but it has actually kept me um, quite cool today. And it's different, isn't it? It's nice nice to change up a little bit and uh, and wear something different. Um, so yeah, thanks guys. We will catch you tomorrow. Andy's back off his holiday of one night and one day. Um, M's here. I'm here. 
and my dad and everybody. Yeah, so we'll catch you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys. Before Bye. I go, I'll just say that M's not made uh, too bad a job of stacking this load here. The last one was a bit like out of line with the bales, but um, this one seems fairly decent. So well done to M. She might be getting there. She might be getting to the hang of it now. She'll have plenty of practice anyway this summer. We've not quite got to the to the girder there, but hopefully by tomorrow morning <clears throat> it'll be somewhere around there. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Anyway, guys, thanks again. See you, bye. Thanks for my team. Um, so this is another bye, but I thought it's my team. Look, Muller. Well, Aldi Muller rice. Nice. Um, I forgot to say massive thank you to Ralph Anta because I give him loads and loads of stick on here, and he just he's always smiling, always laughing. Um, really good guy. And he's a chairman of Pontefract Young Farmers. So if um, anybody in the sort of Pontefract area wants to join Young Farmers, uh, either find Ralph um, or fi well, probably find P Pontefract Young Farmers on Facebook and then uh, get in contact with them. And uh, yeah, get get joined up. It's it's really great. And that goes for anybody. Find your local Young Farmers group, join up, go for a couple of meetings and see what it's like. And I'm sure if you've got an interest in farming, you will love it. Right, I'm off. Anyway, I have to plug in Young Farmers. Bye. <laughs>